Hey everyone, so I'm just going to demonstrate what the road stakeout would look like here in the versions prior to version 2021.20, um, where we have a graphical or traditional menu selection stakeout methods. Um, so in order to get into those different methods, what you would traditionally do here is go into uh, menu, stakeout, stakeout roads, and then when you get to the select file screen we would have hit options and then we have the stakeout method selection options here to either stake out graphically or using the traditional menu selection where we have all the drop downs and, and menus so graphically would have looked like this if we go ahead and hit next and enter our stakeout from here we would have uh, chosen to do one of the th uh, three items here so we could either hit start to stake out relative to the road, um, tap on a specific string to stake out to the specific string, um, or we could have selected a station on a string to stake out to that station on a string. We have the options down at the bottom, our right click or tap and hold menu here to uh, add additional items. Uh, but this was graphical stake out here in the previous versions of Trimble Access. Uh, if we back up, to the select file screen and go into options and instead choose traditional menu selection we would then see uh, something largely different uh, where we are simply just picking from these drop downs uh, this is the traditional menu selection where we would then choose either uh, one of these stake options so we could do our station and offset and then we would hand enter in our station the offset the interval um, if there's no design elevation, we would hand enter that in, and then our construction offsets here at the bottom. And we have obviously the station plus, station minus buttons here to choose from, and then additional offset options. Then we would just hit start, and we would be um, directed to that position to stake out. So this is the, um, the former way that uh, we would stake out um, in Trimble Access. Uh, now what I'm going to do is, is show you the new enhancements that were added in version 2021.20. So here I have the same exact road model loaded in the new version of Trimble Access where we're going to see some changes in how you go about staking out roads. So I'm in roads and I have now the option to either select the, um, the road here from my map and then hit the stake out button. Or if I escape here and deselect my road, I can go through the menu, hit stake out, stake out roads. And this, this screen is exactly the same as it was before. However, when you go into options here, this is where we found the option to switch between traditional and graphical. You no longer have that option. And that's because they've merged the two together. So in this new version, after we select the road we want to stake out, enter in our antenna height, we now see our split screen. And that split screen, that can be you know, um, modified to see a little bit more of the map or a little bit uh, more of the menu. And so we have the combination of graphical stake out and traditional menu selection here shown at the same time. So if you're someone who likes to use the traditional menu selection layout. We have that over on the right. You can select your stake method as you normally would have in the past. So if it's just simply to the road, we would hit start and we'd be given our uh, map showing where we're at perpendicular to that road and then our station offset, go left, go right and cut fill information. Okay. So that's to the road. We might also be using station on string. So this would be basically your station offset on the road. So how this works is you could either select the string or the station from the map. So if there's a specific string or station that you want to stake out to, we would go ahead and select that string or select that station Okay, or let's just deselect. If we want to do station on string, we would use the, the buttons down at the bottom of the screen to select the string. So again, using more of a menu-based 
layout. Maybe we want to stake out the flow line on the left. We could hit accept. And then select a station on that flow line from our menu. Or we could type in a station here. So let's go ahead and select this station. Hit accept. And now it's populated essentially what we would have had before in the previous version of Trimble Access along with any um, construction offsets and you'll notice that construction offsets are all found in the tap and hold menu so we would tap and hold on this on the uh, map screen and that's where we would find our define construction offsets menu we could add in a horizontal construction offset or a vertical construction offset hit the accept button and those display here at the bottom there's also a, a very nice and accessible station minus station plus button located on the screen so if you want to advance down your road to a specific station quickly you can go ahead and do that or again just select on the station on the on the map to do so we would hit the start button and now we would be directed to that position with our stakeout information displayed here at the bottom. Just a side note, to change what is displayed here in the, uh, in the stakeout uh, display, we, we can change that now. Uh, and this is actually new from a previous version. Uh, under Options, you'll find um, different delta readouts here. So you can customize using the Edit button what deltas you uh, could potentially see on that screen. So if we want to, for example, remove the, uh, uh, the, the design elevation for some reason, we, want, we just don't want to see that, we could go ahead and deselect that, hit accept. And also, you can save these settings to your survey style now so that they will um, automatically uh, return back to these settings any time that you, that you start up a, a survey. So I'm going to hit accept and you'll notice that the design elevation is no longer there. However, it, always, it does always show up at the top. It's just not displaying down here at the bottom any longer. So again, that was under the options, deltas, edit, design elevation, accept, accept, and there now we have our design elevation back. We do also have a uh, station minus and station plus button um, conveniently located here while we are uh, being directed to um, our stakeout position. Um, that's a nice addition there. Um, but yeah, so I, I guess the, the main purpose of this video was to show you uh, the difference in how we would, we would stake out a road um, in previous versions of Trimble Access versus um, the changes that they made to roads here uh, as of late. So hopefully you found that beneficial and we'll join us again next time.